Okay, hello, my name is Jason Santiago, and this is my mathematician project. So, the mathematician that I chose was Laurent Schwartz. And this is a picture of him, and while doing research, I found out he was struggling with polio most of his life, and I always wondered why his legs were so thin and frail and I became aware of why he was frail in this picture so moving right along Laurent Schwartz so some little some background about Laurent Schwartz Laurent Schwartz was a French mathematician born on March 5th 1915 in Paris France he showed an early aptitude for mathematics, but initially struggled with the subject and considered himself a slow thinker. Despite these difficulties, his passion for mathematics persevered and he went on to pursue a career in the field, Britannica. So, what motivated Laurent Schwartz to study, pursue mathematics. He became engaged to Marie Helene. So, who, that, I wouldn't say that's what motivated him, that was his main motivation, but it definitely was a driver. So, he became engaged to Marie Helene, who also studied mathematics in 1935. Being friendly with her father, Paul Levy, was an important mathematical influence on the young man. Math's history. It was Paul Levy, which would be, which would be Marie Helene's father, that would give young Schwartz the ambition to study functional analysis and functional analysis would become one of his main research interests in life. Laurent Schwartz, major contribution. This is a biggie. The outstanding contribution to mathematics which Schwartz made in the late 1940s was his work in the theory of distributions math history. He was awarded the Fields Medal at the International Congress of Mathematicians in Cambridge, Massachusetts in 1950 for his work on the theory of distributions or generalized functions, Britannica. So the one thing that surprised me while doing this research was a quote that I learned early on, and it surprised me early on, while taking intermediate algebra. So I was introduced to Lawrence Schwartz while taking intermediate algebra by watching a YouTube video that was in one of the modules. So in the, in the YouTube video, um, we were introduced to Lawrence Schwartz in a YouTube video called Boosting Math. So it's kind of, the, the video was to, um, I don't know what's the word, it, it was to maybe give people like me and other people that might feel they might be slow in a particular subject like math. Um, it, was, it was presented to us to let us know, hey, you know what, the brain is able to grow. So um, it's, it, the brain acts like a muscle. I mean, you, it's like working, if you think about it, it's like working out. So are you going to get stronger and bigger by using the same weights at the gym? Uh, no, you're not. Um, are you going to get stronger and bigger or, or leaner or, or, you know, whatever your goals are in the gym by doing minimal work, minimal effort? effort? No, you're not. Uh, you have to increase the weight. So in math, to increase the weight, you need to not study harder. You need to do higher maths. 
you need to struggle with it it needs to you need to almost pull your hair out you need to back away from it because you can't figure something out you can't figure it out right away and you know what you back away from it for a little bit like systems of linear equation i backed away from that i struggled with that it was my roadblock and um you know what I took a piece of paper I took a piece of paper to to work in the hot humid weather and while I was doing my work uh out in the field in the heat you know while people went to go smoke a cigarette I pulled that piece of paper out with the systems of linear equation and you know I muscled through it I muscled through it and then once I finally figured it out that light bulb went bing and that rewarding feeling is, well, that surprised me for one, the reward, um, but it, it enabled me to continue to pursue my education. So just because you don't pass a class the first time, it's not gonna stop me. So, you know, if you don't pass the class, then you take again. So anyways, that's what surprised me the most. So watching boosted, boosting math what surprised me the most would be the quote within the YouTube video. And that quote is, was pulled from his autobiography. So the quote states, I was and still am rather slow. I need time to fully understand things. And that's, that's the way I felt while doing both certificate courses that I completed. So... One was a 1900 hour in computer aided drafting. I felt slow. Other people were getting it done within the night. Well, they were getting it done either in 1900 hours or a little bit after 1900 hours. It took me two years. Um, so, and then also electronics technology, that was a 1400 hour um, certificate program. That one, you know, I probably could have completed it in 1800 hours but I took my time and I grasped the concepts that way I can retain it for the rest for forever and you know what it um you know I was a little slow going through it but I figured out a lot of different areas that some people didn't so like with the 1900 hour CAD course a lot of people didn't even finish that course so me and a group of other people we stayed through it and yeah, we were there for two years. So, but you know what? It is what it is. And I still, I still got the paper. So don't let something hold you back because you can't understand it. If you can't understand it, muscle through it. And muscling through it is just going to make the brain grow. You're going to get a reward. So um, if you're taking this class, I'm sure you probably already felt that award. Uh, reward, excuse me. So moving right along. Yeah, so the area I can fully relate to would be the quote. I was and still am rather slow. I need time to fully understand things. So here's my works cited page and that's it. So on to, what are we doing now? We are doing geometry. Yeah, I like geometry. So peace out.